Welcome to our today's Duracell topic. 15 dangers of being a people pleaser. If you go out of your way to get people to like you and if you are always saying yes to others. Plus 30 plus ways on how you can stop being a people pleaser. Plus 6 immutable career priority basics and 12 guidelines to examine why you so strongly need to be liked by other people. For real value addition to this topic, please focus only on the content and ignore my lacunas in pronunciation, tone, expression, accent, grammar, my looks and even these videos background. If you need help on any specific topic or need coaching, mentoring, counseling to overcome the issues, the challenges, the problems you are facing in your personal, professional, business part of life along with your relationship issues, kindly email me on the IDs given in either of my two websites. Please like the videos which adds value to you. Kindly subscribe and share this message about coaching session and the videos with the near and dear ones. Now, coming back to our topic. 15 dangers of being a people pleaser. If you go out of your way to get people to like you and if you are always saying yes to others. First, you are giving up on things which really matters to you. Second, Bending over backwards to please others gets you into unhealthy behaviors and habits. Because being yourself and risking people not liking you is better than experiencing the stress and tension that results from bending over backwards to please others. If you say what others want to hear, then soon you start manufacturing lies just to please them. You become a manipulator to get them to like you and you try to guess what others would like to hear, you tend to change your natural behavior. People pleasing ultimately turn you into a very toxic person if you take it too far. Wanting to do nice things for people is an admirable trait. But when you go out of your ways for others at the cost of your own needs, you are playing dangerous game, which soon turns into pathetic existence for you and your loved ones. People pleasers actually manage to lose the respect of the people they are trying to please. You lose your identity, your own self-respect, your self-pride. You start attracting fake and unauthentic people like yourself. You are filled with jealousy of what others have and you don't. You always feel dissatisfied, hollow, unfulfilled. You suppress your negative emotions to make you immune to happiness and what you want. You are under continuous extreme pressure to maintain and keep up your fake appearances and image. You develop an intense need to be in control of people and situation. You have shallow relationships because no one really knows you the real you. 30 ways on how you can stop being a people pleaser. First, understand that you are only responsible for your own happiness and not for the happiness of those around you. Six immutable career priority basics. The first, the most important person to care for is you yourself. Second comes your most loved ones. When we talk about the above point, unless you are emotionally, mentally, physically, energetic, motivated, inspired, can you care for your loved ones in the most optimal ways? Not possible. Third comes people who are dependent on you, socially, professionally, personally. After this comes the rest of the world. Understand that you have a limited energy and you need to recharge, boost, replenish your energies to the levels that can make you take care of yourself and others in the aforementioned priorities. Understand that your ability to care for others and your capacity to care for yourself are interdependent and are very intimately related with each other. Now, six tips to identify your own very, very inspiring goals, dreams, passions and create plans to implement. Implementation blueprint. First, prioritize, pr prioritize your goals. Identify the resources needed and resources available with you. Identify the challenges and the solutions to your challenges. Create a path of step-by-step -step actions. 
schedule your these actions as per priority. Start implementing them one by one, small steps at a time. Fourth point, set and maintain clear boundaries. Start practicing with small, non-threatening steps initially. Learn to refuse requests politely without apology. Understand that you can disagree with other others' views, opinions, suggestions, demands, solutions. And that both or multiple views can be right at the same time in many situations. You can have totally different point of view and can still treat each other with respect and kindness. Learn to express your thoughts, concerns, opinions and feelings assertively. Speak up. Speak up. Disagree with respect. Say no politely yet firmly. You may find yourself in minority or all alone, but if you are convinced about what you believe in, then stick with it. Understand that in today's world, the majority often follows and believes wrong, negative, harmful concepts and people. 12 guidelines to examine why you so strongly need to be liked by everyone. List all the things comes to your mind irrespective of how ridiculous they may feel. Identify all those weaknesses you are ashamed of. Identify what all you try to hide. Identify what regrets makes you feel very bad about yourself. Identify what mistakes you have made which you think have permanently altered your life. What you think you cannot do. Why you think nothing is going to change your life. Why you feel you are worthless. Which feelings and emotions you try to suppress. What are the things you are afraid of. You face about yourself. Why do you think that you are so weak and need pity and dole of others. Why you feel pathetic about your life. 14. Now challenge why all above negative beliefs are wrong using your most trusted, respected, proven person or even a person who is objective, unbiased. Then use the NLP's reframing techniques. Identify what negatives that you feel irresolvable can actually give you a path for wonderful growth. Identify, face, accept the truth of what is going on in your life. If you feel let down by others or being taken advantage of by others, acknowledge these feelings. If you feel overwhelmed, hopeless, overextended, accept these and resolve that you will fight back to get back to resourceful states. Stop apologizing if you have not made any mistake. Do not be afraid to set your boundaries and enforce them. It will take a while for you and others to get used to it. But you will experience an increased sense of well-being and people will learn to accept your limits. Say no more often. Pay attention, attention to your feelings. If something doesn't feel good, then it is not good. Don't shy away from listening to your guts. This is the only thing that you should be listening to. Your intuition never lies. Schedule me time in your everyday to-do list. Start taking actions which reinforces and rebuilds your self-esteem, self-worth, self-confidence, self-pride, etc. Become comfortable asking for help without feeling too obliged. Show kindness when you mean it. Understand that not everyone's opinion matters and should be given importance to. Learn the art of ignoring strategically. Learn the healthy ways to resolve conflict. Nurture your important and close relationships.